Hi, EricfieldWeather.com. Meteorologist Paul Doreen here on Wednesday morning, November the 15th. It continues to look like an increasingly colder weather pattern for much of the nation, especially the northern half of the U.S. A cold air outbreak is likely to a push from Canada into the northern states next week, Thanksgiving week. It certainly looks like there will be other cold air outbreaks in the following weekend and the following week, which is the last week of the month of November. So far this month, the big cities in the I-95 corner region of the Mid-Atlantic, D.C., Philadelphia, New York City, at or slightly below normal. Certainly it appears to be that that will uh, end up in negative territory, colder than normal for the month as a whole as we go through the next couple of weeks, which again will be increasingly colder, uh, not only across the northern plains and the Midwest, but also into the Mid-Atlantic and Northeastern states uh, for the next couple of weeks. Let's start off by looking at the zero Z run of the GFS. This is the conventional GFS forecast map for the next 10 days of total accumulated precipitation. Wanted to point out a few areas of interest here. First of all, along the West Coast, decent amount of rainfall from Baja, California, all the way through the state of California into Washington and Oregon. Somewhat of a change in the overall weather pattern to wetter and a more active. A lot of this rainfall right here, we'll see in a moment, uh, will fall in the form of snow over those higher elevations of the Sierra Nevada. This is more or less a near-term event. Also, uh, in the near term here over the next couple of days, a lot more rainfall in the uh, Gulf region here from Florida to uh, Georgia, Alabama, even Mississippi and Louisiana. There's a strong storm system right now over the northeastern part of the Gulf of Mexico. Kind of reforms just off the east coast of Florida. A lot of rainfall coming to the southern part of Florida over the next day or two. This area has been very dry in recent weeks and certainly this is a change in that pattern here over the northern Gulf from Louisiana to the state of Florida. Meanwhile, up in the northeast, looks like a lot of precipitation will fall here. And this looks like it'll be more or less in that Tuesday, Wednesday time frame of next week. Certainly appears like there can be a strong storm coming out, out of the southern states into the northeastern part of the nation can end up with a strong storm system right near the eastern seaboard by the time we get to the middle part of next week and we'll focus in on this threat over the next several minutes as we look through the uh, computer forecast models well here's the total snowfall forecast for the next 10 days again using the zero z run of the gfs this is the snowfall several inches over the uh, Sierra Nevada mountains. They're already now starting to build up a snowpack out there. A lot of snow over those higher elevations of the Rocky Mountain states. Again, this is over the next 10 day time period, but much, much of this will fall over the next few days. There is some snow. It looks like it makes it into the Mid Atlantic region west of I 95 over the next 10 days, according to this particular uh, model run, and significant snow in the uh, northwestern part of the Mid-Atlantic region and uh, upstate Maine, all the way through the southeastern part of Canada over the next 10, 10 days or so on the order of one to two feet in uh, that part of North America. Canada receives much of its snowfall, believe it or not, during the month of November. It's uh, actually the snowiest month is November for much of Canada and Alaska as well, and certainly all of Canada Looks like it'll get a decent amount of snowfall over the next 10 days. And Alaska has been buried with uh, un, uh, 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 un unseasonal snowfall. So early in the year, a deep snowpack over places like Anchorage with uh, almost a couple of feet of snow on the ground. That's uh, the most snow recorded this early in the season across Alaska. And again, it's not too unusual to see a lot of snowfall during November in Alaska and in Canada. Well, there's been a lot of back and forth amongst the computer forecast models for the uh, outlook for next week. And uh, it, 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 in a situation like that, it always pays to look at the ensemble run. So I'm taking a look here at the 500 millibar height anomalies from the ensemble run of the GFS Zero Z. And then we'll take a look at the temperature pattern. And uh, it certainly comes through loud and clear that we will have an increasingly colder weather pattern, kind of a flip from what we're experiencing across much of the nation this week to what we'll experience next week and 
the following week as we progress through the month of November. This is the forecast for the current five-day period, 500 millibar height anomalies. And the orange here represents higher heights to normal, basically upper level ridging, stronger than normal, pretty much across the, uh, much of the country here, the, certainly in the northern U.S. and all the way down across the south central states. And uh, as we progress farther out in time, it flips. We'll see that uh, showing up here. Here, here we go all the way out now to days five to nine, which represents November 19th to the 24th next week, Thanksgiving week. And all of a sudden we see a, a pretty deep trough here. Lower heights than normal showing up in the eastern U.S. will go out a little bit farther in time. And that sits and sticks around really all the way out towards the latter part of November. We'll go out a little bit farther. And here we go all the way out to pretty much the end of November, November 24th to 29th. That ridge that we uh, that is featured right now just disappears and we have trough in this setting up over much of the eastern U.S. And certainly that leads to uh, the belief that we'll have colder and colder weather over the next couple of weeks. In fact, let's take a look at the 850 millibar temperature pattern here. Again, these are rolling five-day periods. This is the current five-day period, much above normal over the central and northern plains here. In this current five-day period, we're looking at the uh, forecast maps from the ensemble run of the Zero Z GFS, really stretching all the way across the country, warmer than normal, from New England all the way into the interior western states and encompassing much of the southern states. But watch this flip over the next uh, week or two. Here we go by days four to eight. Notice all of a sudden a cold of the normal. And again, these are rolling five-day periods. This extends from November 18th, the average in that five-day period from November 18th to the 23rd. We'll go out a little farther in time. And here we go really right around Thanksgiving. And look at this. Big change from what we're experiencing right now to colder than normal in the eastern half of the nation as we go through Thanksgiving week. We'll go out a little bit farther in time and uh, that kind of sticks around all the way out to days 9 to 13. Here we are that during that last week of the month of November and here we are November 24th to 29th, much of the eastern two-thirds of the nation below normal again. Uh, according to the ensemble run of the Zero Z GFS. Well, those were the five day rolling averages of the 850 millibar temperature anomalies. Now let's go through the daily forecast maps here uh, for the 850 millibar pattern, again, using the Zero Z. This is the conventional version of the GFS. Again, much warmer than normal as we begin the day here on Wednesday, November 15th, really stretching from California to the Great Lakes and into the Northeast. Uh, a lot of above normal conditions, but we'll just kind of quickly walk through this and watch how things change as we push into Thanksgiving week. First of all, during the upcoming weekend, there will be an influx of colder than normal air into the Mid-Atlantic, into the Northeast U.S. on the heels of a funnel passage. That funnel passage will bring uh, showers to the Northeastern states in the Friday night time uh, period here. And again, cold shot for the northeastern states uh, uh, this weekend. Then we go into Thanksgiving week. This is a forecast map for Monday morning, November 20th, and we'll see again continuation of that cold shot for the northeastern states, and then another colder than normal pattern starts setting up for the central states, and here we are, are now all the way out into the middle part of next week. This is Wednesday a week from right now, the day before Thanksgiving, colder than normal, stretching from the Gulf all the way up to the uh, northern Great Lakes. And that pushes into the Mid-Atlantic region right here in the uh, northeastern part of the nation just in time for Thanksgiving Day next Thursday. And there may be a, 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 an even more significant cold air outbreak behind that. We'll have to uh, track this over the next several days. Here we are now into the end of next week. Saturday and finally all the way out into Sunday, November 26th. And look at this. This is a, a, a very impressive cold air shot working its way south and east after Thanksgiving in that week, weekend after Thanksgiving, leading into that last week of the month of November. 
Well, let's wrap up with the surface forecast maps from the Zero Z GFS model run. Again, low pressure right now over the central and northeastern part of the Gulf of Mexico, producing some significant rainfall across uh, uh, Georgia, Mississippi, Alabama, and then ultimately into Florida. We'll see here the southern half of Florida especially uh, really gets some wallop with some rainfall. It's been dry there, very dry there in recent weeks, but uh, uh, quite a change over the next day or two. And here we are out west <clears throat> with that precipitation now arriving from Baja across uh, the California coastline up across Washington and Oregon. This system kind of reforms here. We see at this particular time by tomorrow morning, kind of still residual low pressure here over the central Gulf of Mexico and then a secondary kind of uh, forms southeast of Miami here and that uh, helps to contribute to significant rainfall in the southern half of uh, Florida and then this takes a turn up to the north and east and let's <coughs> track <coughs> excuse me track that here and here we go it looks like it'll <coughs> tend to skirt the northeastern states we have a strong cold frontal system pushing in in the Friday night time period here that uh, will likely bring shower activity to the mid-Atlantic the northeast US uh, uh, where it's been very dry it's been very dry <clears throat> in much of the mid-Atlantic region during the past several weeks bona fide chance of showers comes on Friday night with this frontal system and this uh, Gulf of Mexico system will ride up to the north and east it certainly can impact places like Cape Cod and maybe even Maine kind of enhancing the rainfall in, in that part of the northeastern states may be even enhancing some snowfall. Upstate Maine later on this weekend, you can see, <coughs> excuse me, right here, uh, maybe some significant snow accumulations up across upstate Maine here. Again, some of that moisture being fed in by what really is a tropical system working its way all the way up along the Atlantic seaboard over the next few days. And so some of that tropical moisture may actually push into cold air mass, incoming cold air mass, and produce some accumulating snow, not only across southeastern Canada, but maybe, again, western and northern Maine, and maybe the northern parts of Vermont and New Hampshire as well. Again, a cold shot on its heels into the Mid-Atlantic, northeast U.S. <clears throat> during the upcoming weekend. Then we'll progress through Thanksgiving week, and GFS, I think, is on to something here where really the beginnings, the California system moves across the country and starts to form a storm system, in my opinion, down across the southern states, and that ultimately pulls across, pulls the northeast into the mid-Atlantic, the northeast U.S., and it could end up with a strong storm system right along the Atlantic seaboard here, the east coast, sometime by the middle of next week. But... Here we go, enough residual cold air from the weekend cold blast to perhaps, perhaps result in some snowfall in those higher elevations, upstate PA, for example, Tuesday night, Wednesday time frame. Of course, this is an important time period for travel, but here we go. GFS, I think, is on to something here with something starting to kind of intensify along the coast here. We'll go into the middle part of the week and again. Strong storm system, not exactly at the coast, but it could end up at the coast here by the time we get closer and closer to the event. These models may pick up on something right along the Atlantic seaboard. Again, the middle of next week, this is a busy travel day on uh, Wednesday of next week. And this kind of a pattern could produce some significant r rainfall near the coastal areas, maybe even some snow in those higher elevation areas to the north and west in the middle Atlantic region. And uh, then it moves up into New England, and here we go. That influx of uh, colder air on its heels right in, in, in this area, the middle end of the Great Lakes. By the time we get to uh, next Thursday, which, of course, is Thanksgiving Day, we have a pretty cold pattern here, uh, pretty much in this part of the U.S., below normal temperatures here, uh, just in time for uh, Thanksgiving Day, and we'll go out a little bit farther in time, and again, we saw that there's potential for an, another cold shot, and here we go, by the time we get to Saturday, November 25th, this is a real cold blast right here, and we'll see if that continues to move to the south and east as we get to that weekend past Thanksgiving into the last week of the month of November, so certainly 
continues to look like an increasingly colder weather pattern for much of the U.S., especially the northern half of the U.S. as we go through the next couple of weeks. And it continues to look like a pretty active weather pattern as well. That's it for now for ArcFieldWeather.com. This has been meteorologist Paul Dorian.